a family tree for your dog. More pet owners across the country are buying DNA tests for their dogs to find their ancestry. Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace shows us the health benefits and why others refuse to do it. Baby girl, come here. This rambunctious girl was found abandoned in Orange Park about three years ago. This is Liberty. We call her Libby. She is very goofy. Um, she is a little ornery. When her owner, Samantha Snyder, takes her out. Good girl. Oh, yes. He's a good girl. Some people He's say she looks like a sled dog. We had our suspicions. Um, we're like, she may be Shepherd. She may be, um, you know, Husky. Snyder decided to find out more about her new fur baby and had help through their vet. They were offered a DNA test for dogs. We found out she's perfectly 50 50. Husky, an American Staffordshire Terrier, or Pitbull. So my instincts are right. This Google Trends map shows more people are using these kits for their pets, or at least buying it as a gift because interest peaked in December. Come here, Duda Man. Come here, Scooby Doo. Ours are all uh, rescues, and we don't really know what they are. So um, it was exciting for us that the technology is there now to be able to see that. Becky Rosa took in three rescue dogs. Two were medical fosters. He actually doesn't seem to know that he has a disability. Like Rosa, most people are just curious about their pet's ancestry, but we found these kits can actually reveal potential health risks. Rosa used a test called Wisdom Panel. The Wisdom did give us if they were carriers of a specific trait that would give them um, a genetic predisposition to certain issues, that could be a problem, and all three of mine tested clear on that. Knowing your dog's breed isn't always a good thing and could cause pet owners to be discriminated against. The Canine Journal says pit bull breeds, German Shepherds, and Dobermans can make it harder for pet owners to get homeowners insurance. Since 2017, the Jacksonville Humane Society has stopped identifying breeds. Instead, they call them all mixed breeds. We want everyone to focus on their individual traits, what makes them special as, you know, as Tucker or Fido or Sophie, what makes them great as individuals and not so much worry about what kind of breed they might be. Although the results may be far-fetched, many are just in it for the chase. It meant a lot. She's like my kid, so now I know all her background. Reporting on the South Side, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax.